you're, it's obvious you're going to do what you're going to do. I think it's exact same, it's statements me. like that, that's exactly what I'm talking I about. I think that you know, we have to work together as a board trying to come up with the solution. There's going to be differences of opinions, and there's going to be differences of opinions how things should be done, okay? But let's leave uh, personalities out of this and uh, any kind of remarks against each other. As I a board get into personality. Uh, excuse me, guys, let me finish. Let's just keep it succinct and on point about this project. We have to move forward with the project. We're trying to do it in the best way we can. It's always good to get differing opinions as to things we haven't thought of but we still have to keep going forward. We are gonna go forward with uh, getting options from the architect. If after that happens, there's additional discussions as to you know, what would happen beyond this project, we can have this. But as far as this one, I think we have to get a commitment on paper so that when we go in front of the architectural access board on Friday, that we have a change order that we can say, and we've signed the change order to, to show more commitment. So, John, I'm, apart from the accusation, I agree with what Craig said about it's costly to, to do this because the alternate would, may require a whole different type of design specifications. That's why I said that, the, that, that part of that, that it may be more costly than the amount that we're, we're voting tonight to have Dixon say, well, do something like I'm saying, because in essence, it would require him to perhaps create two or three different options, which the specifications of which may be totally different. But I've done over $100 million worth of school construction projects.